All right, here we are. We're going to see how this plays out. I'm trying to bum rush this before peace is declared. In it. We just barely made it. He didn't quite build that fire catapult, so we're going to try to run in and take this before peace is declared. Luckily, once you're engaged in battle, the, the, the timer, things that happen on the campaign map and outside of combat are stopped. So we don't have to worry about peace being declared while we're here sieging this castle. And if they're going to stay on the ground, I mean, it, that really will allow us to get in there. They're not going to stop us on the walls. The problem is, is they're all masked. Well, there's some of them right there. I was going to say, they do tend to have those uh, archers masked on the ground right there. So once you even, once you get, oh, I can't get around that. Oh. I wasted two javelins. Once you get up on the walls, you face that large mass of archers sitting on the ground behind you. Or in front of you. You guys are getting up there fine on both sides. Alright, let's 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 try to get up there. Probably take this castle and then declare peace. Because I did see that just as we started this... They started sieging one of my... I think it was one of my castles. It's hard. Yeah, that's a... Oh. I need, to, I need my shield. There's a lot of range units down here. And of course, these are master, master fighters that block, 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 block. And if you get, if you get four or five of them surrounding you, don't matter how good you are, you're going to go down because they all they all hit you at the same time. It's not like Hollywood where they stand around waiting for, waiting to attack you one at a time. Could get some room. Uh, not gonna be able to. All right, I think that's everything except for the ones that are running into the keep, and we're never gonna be able to catch them. All right, I lost one heavy axeman. We got one in one-handed, one in athletics, one in medicine, and one in two-handed. That's a pretty good rounded rounded uh, use of weapons right there 331 gold all right let's see who is we're going to show mercy of course that'll tick off we're down to 57 and talaville castle all right we're going to sheena the heir we're going to give her some intelligence and some endurance no vigor there we go and let's see about making peace with the Valandians. 17 hours is going to kick off anyway. And I don't think... I don't think I can get down to Talaville Castle in enough time with this party and the troops we have. So let's go ahead and see if we can kick it off. All right, everybody says yes. Now, in this case, there is no dissenting votes. So I'm going to go all in to try to increase my standing with the good and... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do all 150 because I want to get max standing with him and there's no downside because I am not, no one is voting against it. So we go up 16 points with relation to him, which is good. Okay, now at peace, I'm going to drop these guys. They may be leaving anyway uh, because of the... Uh, we're no longer at war, and they're mercenaries. 
I want to see if I can give him some. I only need to give him one troop, so. Uh, no, I think instead I'm going to drop this into the... Anything I put in the garrison? No. All right, we'll drop it into the dungeon. These spearmen. These footmen. And the militias. And the recruits. Okay. We'll see who they give that castle to in the vote. And I'm going to run back to rope. Well, I'm going to make a quick trip around my holdings here. Try to maximize the income since we're at peace at the moment. Because the moment the, Vlad uh, the uh, Batanians declare on us, they'll take these because they'll they'll bring, you know, 1,500, 2,000 armies, possibly, as long as they're not at war with anyone else. All right, we'll take that 1,000. Now that we have less people... No, we're still not over the amount of horses we can have. And again, this is none of this is good for the combat side. So we'll check the civilian side. And it's all going to be garbage there also. Okay, we can sell it all. If I can click that button. I don't know why. Honestly, I'm not sure why I'm holding on to these uh, PV shields other than the fact they're legendary. Which means they're the best you can get. I will only use round shields and I would prefer my troops only to use round shields. But since my troops are sturgeon and they're all going to be using round shields, if I put some companions in amongst them, I may want to use these pavis shields, but that way I can tell which, when I look at the group, I can tell which one are my companions. They will be the only ones with pavis shields because none of the other troops that I'm using will have pavis shields. We'll sell that. And nothing here looks worthwhile. And now that we've got a good amount of money, let's take a look at the armor available. Obviously, we've got the best helmet you can buy. But I'm still open. Kryn has the noble bow and stacked bodkin arrows. Is this a better axe than she has? It does some more damage, but I'm not sure that it's better per se. All right, what we're going to do... Now that we're at peace, I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm going to run over to the... I want to see which is the most prosperous Omar and then Revel. All right, we're going to see what kind of armor that they have available. I realized I said I was going to go looking at my castles. All right, good and good for you, buddy. I'm going to abstain. And in the process of going over I'm going to stop at Varcheg. I want to see what armor that is available for the the helmet because typically the Omor is not doing too well in the tannery. Let's turn that off. Turn that off since I have nothing in the... We will run that. No, we'll leave that off for now as long as it's getting some flax. That's halted. We turned it off. Okay, that's good. The best helmets you can buy are uh, sturgeon. To get anything better than that 54, it has to be loot. But let's see what we've got available. And I believe, in my experience, the best armor you can get, the chest armor, 
we're just going to take this right here, give that to Corinne. We'll sell that. Is Empire. Empire has the best chest armor in my experience. Which is this right here, that 57, 20, and 16, which we're both wearing. Nope, I'm wearing Laminar with scale. But I believe this is the the armor that you can buy. 57, 20, 16, which we're going to go take a look. And I still believe that for regular armor, the Batanians have the best gloves and boots, which I think is 26. So to get anything better, you have to, it has to be looted. That axe, it's slower. It does more damage and it's longer. But I think we're going to leave it as is for now. That's a lot more damage, though. Seven more damage. I will let it go because this is a masterwork. It's hard to. Okay, moving up. Do I have anything? As far as resources, I have some hides. Okay, and Revel, they need clay. I don't think, I didn't notice that I had any clay. Nope, no clay. All right. Well, since I just bought her that 54 helmet, I don't need to go up there anymore. So instead, what is it in Omor? Flax and hides. Okay, so we'll go to Omor and drop off the hides and any flax we have. This relatively peaceful time we have here. All right, flax and hides. All the hides, and we have no flax. Which is fine. There is a village, Av, I think it is. Yeah, Av is, has flax. I do need one troop, so while I'm here, instead of recruiting from my prisoners, I will see if I can recruit from... That way I, I can keep the prisoners for when we're away from the town. Okay, he's recruiting. Oh, yeah, he needs quite a few. We'll just give him these recruits. Go with a Chorna, Chorna Bass. Chorna Bass. How many more? All right. I'm going to take everything here. But I'm going to give him the recruits. I await your order. We'll see what he's working with. Make sure there's no mercenaries or anyone you have to pay extra money for. Give him all six recruits. And... Two. There we go. That's everybody. All right. So we're both we're full again. And I want to I want to go. I want to look for. That's very good armor. I think we're well. I think we're all good on armor. So I think what I need to do. Let's go look at Sanala. Do I have any silver or grain that I need? I, 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 I think I had a huge amount of grain. 1,500, didn't I? No, 1,000. I don't see us declaring war on... Actually, we're going to go to Rote. Let's go see the status of Rote, what is built, if anything, and what needs to be built, if anything. Because it's been so long since I've been there, I don't remember. 
So while we've got this opportunity, we'll head down there. Then I'll go back up and look at the castles. The only one costing me money is Aster and Lannick. Well, that was much higher, 800 or something, I think, before. So we've helped that a little bit. But we'll look at both the Aster and Lannick Hen. Because we don't want them to cost us money. Don't want them in the first place. I only want towns. Hopefully, I, ideally, our next war would be with Western Empire. I would really like to have Jalmeries and Amatetes. Let's look at the keep. See what kind of... All right. What can we take out of here to sell these high-tiered stuff? Mm. What did I take? Did I take uh, these traders? Yeah. You know, I don't want these traders. I think this town is full. What can we upgrade? We can upgrade one of them. And I will swap him out for something that's higher if, if there's something in there that can be swapped out. Yeah. All right. So we'll put in this trader archer and take out the Batanian Fian. And additionally, let's ransom. And then look at... No, we're just going to have to drop him. I want to give him... Let's see what my companion has for low-level troops. He's got a lot of Sturgeon recruits there, of course. Let's take these Batanian volunteers and these Sturgeon recruits. And all the level 2. Take all the level 2 forces. And see if we can replace it put anything in here all right level two they were all infantry troops though so not really i've already done this there's these level threes here it's not a huge there's 11 of them it's not a huge change but i would rather leave these sturgeon soldiers in here for my use since we're th this holding is not in sturgia lands i can pull out of here if need be and I think there's not a lot that I can change. I will give them these two volunteers. But other than that, that's about it. Okay, we're going to give them back. One too many. Here we go. Which means I'll throw one sturgeon recruit here. In there. We'll have to pull some out. Uh, 27 and 30, 35. We got three too many. Right there. Who can we pull out of here? I want to get rid of these sword sisters. I don't like them. don't like this at all because they, they don't. I just don't like them. We'll leave it at that. And we'll get rid of these. I really don't want to get rid of archers, though. So we'll get rid of these one tribe. There we go. And then I'll just discard those four troops that I don't want. Now, back to... Make sure I didn't put anything in the stash. That's the word I was trying to say earlier, stash. There's nothing in there. Let's look at managed town. Now, the fortification is still 215 days away, and I, I do want to keep this town. Workshops are at max, so let's invest some money here. So 215 days, 185, 156, 126, 97. Okay, a year is 84 days, so this is a, a year in... Uh, 13 days? That's 40,000 dinar. I'm going to drop one more in there. 87 days. All right, we're going to leave that be. 
uh, because it will be tier three, which is the highest level wall, and that would be the greatest amount of uh, defense they can get. And if I don't make it back here before that's done, I want to throw in fairgrounds to increase the loyalty. And finally, well, a lot more, but for now I want to throw the granary. The, the more we can store in food, see right now we're getting plus 27 every time, but I think we are maxed at what we can store, so we're wasting the food. So the larger granary we can have, the more food we can store, the longer the town can last in a siege, obviously. All right, now let's go look at these castles we got. I forgot all about rim toil. Let's go look at it. I honestly forgot I even owned rim toil castle because it just wasn't coming up in the battles. And also, I'm going to disband my army and let him do his thing. He might get a little run around hitting some bandits and whatnot. He might get some experience. Of course, now I've got a huge hurting penalty. But that's okay. As soon as we go to war, I'll, I'll call him right back. Let's check out Rim Toil Dungeon. We'll take that hero out and this highborn out. Let's look at the garrison. There's only 15 in here. I don't like the cell sword, so I'm going to get rid of him. And I'm going to drop them. Is there anybody I can recruit? Nope. And let's look at the castle itself. All right, so it's, it's a good thing we came here because it's dropping loyalty. It's going up 0 0.03, which is not much, but nothing is being built right now. Again, it's under 25. So let's just leave it on this for a while and build up some loyalty. The next closest one, I'm going to go to Verone. Uh, not Veron, Lanik Hen. Try to get as much of this administrative work done as possible while we're not at war. We're still positive income, so there's no rush to be doing things to earn money at the moment. Again, looking at the dungeon, getting rid of the high tier troops so we can sell them for income or ransom them. We'll leave the level twos. Look at the garrison. There's a lot of high tier troops here, and there's a lot of them. That's why this is costing me a lot of money. Nothing I can do about that at the moment. And 46, it's still going down, even though I've got festival and games. It's that owner culture, culture negative three. Which is why I don't want any of these castles. I only want empire stuff. But it's going down very slowly. So let's get the... I think I can get the fairgrounds built. And that may stabilize it. I'm going to drop 20 in here. You know, it won't make a difference. And as soon as the fairgrounds are built in 22 days, I want it to go right back to festival and games. And then we'll come back and look at it and see what it says after that. All right. Talaville. We'll run over here. I do believe. Well, I, I don't. I know we're going to lose all of. The, I believe we're going to lose all of these as soon as war is declared. But this will probably be the first one to go. No prisoners. Garrison has got some high tier units in it, but only forty nine of units overall. And. Yes, it's high risk of rebellion. So let's drop all of this and see if we can get him up above 25. I'll come back and look at him again in a little bit as we run over to Aster Castle. Where is my companion? Here he is. All right, he's doing his thing. This maintenance work, a lot of people... Consider, I've seen a lot of posts on Steam where people don't want to do any maintenance work or administrative work with their, their holdings and they complain. Well, it's just part of the game. You've got to do this. 
You can't be just capture something and leave it. Apparently you could. In the, I've never played... I didn't want to do that. I've never played the Mountain Blade series before Bannerlord. So I don't know how it worked, but you might have been able to do that in the original Mountain Blade, but you actually have to manage your holdings in this game. If you don't want to go broke, that is. Okay, now this is interesting because I'm going to take these four heavy spearmen and drop two, three. Yeah. I'll leave one here. There's really, horse would be the only thing else that I'd need to replace that would be higher level, and there are no horses here. So that's good. At least we got something out of it. And there was nothing in the dungeon. Let's see what it looks like. All right, 47, and it's going up. We've got him on Festival and Game, so let's see if we can get a fairground built. 62 days. We'll drop in 10, which should drop it to 18. I'll leave that alone. It's dropping two every day, but hopefully that'll be enough. Let's go look at Pendrake. Now this, again, this administrative work is probably boring, but it's part of the game and it needs to be done. You need to manage your fiefs properly. Not that I'm managing these properly, but I'm managing what I think will work for me. Nothing, no horses here or infantry. Because I've got max level infantry already. It'd only be horses. Let's, ah, that's not what I wanted. Let's look at Manish Castle. All right, it's going up by 0 0.02 and it's building the workshop. I, 98 days for the workshop. I want to stop the workshop and go to the fairground. 186 days for the fairground. I think... Nope, I think I am going to go back to the workshop. And I'm going to drop in 20k. After the workshop is built, it should go back to Festival and Games. Is it still going up? Yeah, it's still going up. So I'm going to actually... jump to militia so after the workshop it should go to militia grounds to increase the amount of militia we have for defense and the next castle the unpronounceable Nevyansk I guess and then after that we'll go to Callius. nothing in the dungeons nothing in the garrison that as far as horses there is indeed two here I'll take those two and get rid of these two Otrux. But that is it. No more horses. And I will take uh, this veteran and replace it with the regular Varag. Very Ag or Var Yag. And I definitely want to get rid of these hired mercenary type troops. All right, that leaves it. Drop off them. All right, Festival and Games. We're at 49 and going up slightly. If I drop Festival and Games, it... Okay, all right, let's go. I'm willing to drop it to, to build the fairgrounds. And 125 days. 20 days for the fairgrounds. We'll see if that holds true. If it can build that in 20 days. And this will be the last castle that I need to visit. Again, making sure, seeing what's in the dungeon, that's fine. Look at the garrison, there's no horses I can take out. And look at the castle. Alright, yeah. High risk of rebellion. I'm going to stop everything. Make sure it's just festival and games. Let them run for a while. Let festival and games run. It's only 1.74 a day. Let's see if that holds true. 
Yeah, it's going to hold hold to 161 now. At least they're not going to rebel now. Now 1.5. See, it's diminishing returns. I've got to get a fairground built here. But it's dropping. If I put a fairground in, it drops one every day, one and a half every day, which means before the fairground could be built, it would... Uh, be rebelling in rebellion territory. So we're going to let it increase for a while. And if we come back in the next video and we're still at peace, we're going to go around and look at these again. Until then, adios. Ciao.